Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. And today I'm going to do a pick a card, pick a pile reading. And the question today is, is deception being planned on my behalf? Okay, this is for those of you who think that someone is planning something evil against you or negative against you, but we just want to find out if that's really happening. Okay, because it might not, not be happening at all. All right. So is deception being planned on my behalf? The letters we have today are the letter Z, uppercase. We have lowercase i, uppercase w, the letter lowercase d, the number 8, and the number 7. So if you need more time, go ahead and take that time, pause the video, figure out which one it is you need. And um, yeah, um, please subscribe, like, comment, to share on these videos. I would appreciate that. And somebody else might need this information. You can find ways to contact me in the drop down below where you can um, inquire about a personal reading. You can also uh, send things to the channel, you can donate to the channel, or you can just simply write to me and I'll write back. Okay? So, um, let's go ahead and find out, is there any deception being planned on your behalf? I'm going to go ahead and start out with the uppercase Z. Okay, this is for those of you who chose the uppercase Z, and the question is, is deception being planned on my behalf? Let's find out. The first word out is withdrawal, so somebody might be withdrawing from the situation. We have the Queen of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles this is a positive card. And when it comes to, um, <coughs> excuse me, when it comes to um, is deception being planned on my behalf, hmm. hmm. It seems that there might be, yes. There is definitely deception being planned on your behalf. Hmm. And somebody is withdrawing from all situations for some reason. Well, let's find out the story here. First, we have the Ten of Wands. Then we have the Knight of Pentacles. And finally, we have the Nine of Cups. So somebody wants to come in with passionate information. It could be slow moving information, okay, when it comes to finances. But somebody looks at you as their wish fulfillment. But they might be withdrawing right now because they are planning or devising a way to move in on you, okay? They wanna have this Nine of Cups with you, but they're withdrawn right now, and they don't know how to go about, you know, fixing it. Instead of just, you know, being straight out and going for it and telling the honest truth, somebody is a planning deception on how they can lie, possibly, their way into your life. Okay. They might want to come in passionately and get you that way because, um, you know, they don't have the pentacles at this time. But they do see you as a wish fulfillment, somebody they've thought about in the past. It doesn't necessarily mean that they've thought of you in a good way, but they have nonetheless thought about you. And in this case, if you chose the uppercase Z, and whether or not 
somebody is using deception or is deception being planned on your behalf, yes, they are. Okay. So let's go ahead and move on to lower case I. Okay, this is for those of you who chose the lower case I. Let's find out, is deception being planned on your behalf? First word out, analyze. And then we have the four of wands. So when it comes to the four of wands, it does seem that somebody is definitely planning deception against you on your behalf. Let's find out why. Well, we have the Nine of Wands here. We also have the Hermit. And we also have the Five of Cups. Okay. And with this um, Nine of Wands, the Nine of Wands can indicate strength okay strength in opposition right so if somebody is planning a fight or something they will fight boldly against this okay and then we have the hermit here going within somebody's going within and thinking about the situation what can they do okay because they are making a plan. They are devising a plan of deception against you. Okay? And with this Five of Cups here, they feel as if <clears throat> they are crying over spilt milk because something has happened. This is a card of loss. And something, you know, that is over. Something that is done and gone. But we have these two fairies behind showing that there is hope. But the person's not paying attention to that. So when it comes to, is deception being planned on my behalf? Yes, it is. But they're trying to figure out how right now. So, you know, per perhaps you should plan on protecting yourself, you know, making sure that everything you have is secured and that um, no one can be able to plan this deception against you because you're protected. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So is deception being planned on your behalf? Yes, it is. They're just not sure how yet. Okay, because they're still mourning over something that was lost. Okay, so those are for those who chose the lowercase i, and we're going to go ahead and move forward to the uppercase w. This is for those of you who have chosen the uppercase w. Can you see that? Kind of. There it is. Let's go ahead and find out. Is deception being planned on your behalf? Well, we have the word love. And we have the judgment card. So yes, deception is being planned on your behalf. Okay, we have the moon. We have the six of cups. And we have the three of cups. So there are secrets here. Secrets that are um, being kept from you, all right? Um, this is being planned by somebody of the past. And it is being planned possibly by three people. It could be three women. But there's deception here, and there are secrets here. 
and they have to do with the past. Okay? Somebody's not telling you something, yet somebody is thinking of you, and these people or persons are from the past, and they are devising a plan to deceive you on your behalf. What deception is going to be had, we don't know yet. But something is definitely, definitely being planned against you. Okay, and deception. And it has to do with love. Perhaps somebody is stopping a love from getting to you, or perhaps they are preventing you from um, having love. But either way, yes, somebody is planning some deception towards you, and it could be um, one to three people. And these are people from your past. Okay? So that was for the uppercase W. Next, we will be going to the lower case D. This is for those of you who have chosen the lower case D. There it is. Let's go ahead and find out, is deception being planned on your behalf? Well, we have harmony right here. And we have the magician. And the Magician card is a card of manifestation, okay? And it seems that yes, somebody is devising a plan to deceive you on your behalf. Why? Well, let's find out. Maybe Harmony was disturbed. We have the Chariot. We have the Three of Wands. And we have the Two of Wands. Okay. So the Chariot is a card of moving forward. Moving forward in a direction that is beneficial for you. Right? Somebody wants to, you know, move forward with you. And they want to have something with you. But they are devising a plan of deception. Why? I'm not sure, because if they want harmony in their life, the chariot is something that's going to move them forward, okay? This is a triumphant card. It is also a card of vengeance and trouble, all right? And then we have the three of wands. So somebody wants to get back at you. And somebody is waiting for something to happen. They're waiting for something to happen, perhaps for you to call them, contact them, whatever it is. They're waiting for something to happen. They're manifesting something so they can proceed with this deception. Okay? They're just waiting. All right, they're waiting for the perfect time to, you know, swoop in and deceive. Okay, and then we have this two of wands right here, and this two of wands indicates, you know, there's no union possible here, and in one hand. You know, this person has um, fortune, and in the other, suffering, disease, and sadness. So somebody wants to maybe get back at you for not coming forth, for not offering them this ride on the chariot. But they are devising a plan to get back at you for that, because they thought that you would provide them harmony in their life. But you might have changed your mind. You might have saw that there was deceit in the past and that you can only see deceit in the future. Somebody is trying to manifest something back so they can deceive you because possibly they think that you will come back and they're waiting for you. 
but that doesn't necessarily mean that they have anything good planned for you. Okay? So harmony was broken and manifestations for your return have begun. They're just waiting for the perfect time to swoop in and deceive you. <clears throat> okay? So those that was for those of you who chose lowercase d. And we're going to go ahead and move on to the number 8. This is for those of you who chose the number 8. There it is, number 8. So let's find out, is deception being planned on your behalf? Well, the word we have is sympathetic here. Somebody's sympathetic over the situation. And a choice must be made. Okay. And with this Two of Swords right here, we want to find out whether or not somebody is planning deception on your behalf. And it seems to me that somebody is making a choice over this situation. So this is a maybe, okay, maybe. Because somebody is not sure about what's really going on. And they have to make a choice and they want to make that choice and they want to know whether or not they're moving in the right direction. They're sympathetic over this. Like I said, they're trying to make a choice. We have the five of swords here. And then we have the emperor. Two of swords, five of swords, and the emperor. So, like I said before, somebody's trying to make a choice. They're not sure. Okay, they're not sure whether or not this deception should happen. Because they're, they don't have the whole story. Right? And um, with this Five of Swords here, something is... Something is degrading. There's some sort of destruction. Okay? There's loss and there's dishonor. And, you know, the Five of Swords, it shows this girl here. I don't know if you can see it very well, but there's this girl. She's got two swords in her back. All right. And somebody's walking away with the rest of the swords. So she does feel deception here. That could be you. And it could be being done to you by the emperor. All right. You could be the empress, and this emperor is trying to figure out whether or not he should continue to put the rest of those three swords in your back. But they're not sure. Because they don't have the whole story. All they are doing is listening from things from other people. They are being sympathetic towards you because they're not sure. But I can guarantee you, eventually, they will definitely find out. So right here, there's a maybe. And if you're not being deceiving, most likely they will find that out and they will not deceive you back. If you are being deceiving, they will probably return with the other three swords. Okay? So is deception being planned on your behalf? Not at this present time because they don't know the whole story but they will definitely, definitely find out. Okay? And then you will know because it will come to you or it will not come to you. Okay, so that was for those of you who chose the number eight. And we are going to our last pile, which is the number seven. This is for those of you who chose pile number seven. And we're going to go ahead and find out, is any deception being planned on your behalf? The first word out is agility. And with this agility word, we are 
trying to be agile on the situation, not trying to say yes or no or wonder here and there, whatever it is, right? But, you know, it could be that they're not sure, they don't, don't know which way to bend on a situation because they're hearing things from other people. The first word out we have, the first uh, card out we have is the King of Pentacles. And the King of Pentacles signifies that yes, deception is being planned on your behalf. All right. Let's find out why. We have the Seven of Cups. Somebody has a lot of options. They want to come in with emotion. And they are manifesting something for return. So with this one, I'm thinking somebody has a lot of options. They're trying to find the best option, but they feel that you are not an option any longer. So you might have, you know, distanced yourself from this person. And this person is not feeling it now. They wanted to come in with their cup of emotion. So now they're trying to manifest this situation into fruition. Depending on how this goes, they might be trying to devise a plan of deception to weasel their way in. Okay, they're looking at all sides of the situation. They do want to give you their emotion, but they are manifesting a plan of deception on your behalf. Okay? This is a person with options. You might know this person. This person might have given you emotion in the past, but currently they are trying to manifest some sort of deception to you. Okay? So that was the last pile in today's pick a pile reading of is deception being planned on your behalf? So I'll go ahead and see you guys at the end. Okay, so you finally made it to the end. And this question today was, is deception being planned on my behalf, on your behalf? We do have surrender cards here. This is what the universe wants you to surrender in this situation. The cards are pre-shuffled, but I'm gonna go ahead and shuffle one more time for shits and giggles. And let's find out. Is deception being planned? Let's try this way then. <laughs> Is deception being planned on my behalf? Okay, there we are. Let's see what you need to surrender in this situation. Here we are. Let's see what that is. Surrender outdated beliefs about yourself. Let go of limiting ideas about yourself that originate from the past. Then you can own your power and soar into your life. So any ideas of you of the past that you believe are negative, universe wants you to surrender those outdated beliefs about yourself because that's not you anymore. You are a kind and caring person. You are fair, you are grounded. You are abundant, okay? And others might be jealous of this abundance, but you don't wanna refer back to the past. You don't wanna be that person you used to be. You, you wanna be more stronger because perhaps in the past you might've been slightly weakened from a certain situation. But the universe is telling you to surrender those outdated beliefs about yourself because you are not that person anymore. You are stronger, you are abundant, and you can do whatever it is you put your mind to. You can have everything that your dreams desire or your wishes desire, okay? So let's go ahead and put that over here and let's find out the advice from God, angels, universe, ancestors, spirit, all of the above, anyone that you pray to 
or you worship, this is their advice to you. These cards are pre-shuffled, but of course I'm going to go ahead and shuffle to see what I can get out of this situation. Okay? What advice does the universe have in this situation in regards to, is deception being planned on my behalf? What should I do about this situation? How can I, you know, clear myself of this situation? What shall I do? Well, we got three cards out, so let's start out and see what they are. We have faith, we have growth, and we have forgiveness. I'd like to have three more cards, please. Three more cards for is deception being planned on my behalf? Is deception being planned on my behalf? Wow. Okay. Well, we got four cards out for the end here. First card out was passion. And the next cards out we have perfection. soulmate, and isolation. Okay. These are the cards that the universe wants you to see, and this is their message to you. All right. So, faith. <coughs> the universe wants you to know that you shouldn't let anything hold you back from what it is that you want to accomplish. And if you think there's deception coming towards you, have faith that you are protected. Okay? And with this in mind, the universe is telling you to continue to grow. Because nothing can get to you. You are protected. And anyone who is trying to deceive you, you are to give them 100% forgiveness. Because they do not know what they do. They do not understand, okay? So if you have a passion, you need to continue with that passion. Also, we have perfection here. You are perfect just the way you are. Don't expect others to be perfect because nobody's perfect, okay? The only person that we are perfect to is creator, all right? They made us the way we are because they find that that is the perfect way to be for our situations and ourself. Creator also wants to know, or universe, God, angels, universe, spirit, want us to know that your soulmate is out there. And they are very keen on this situation. And they want to move forward with you. And this person will definitely be protection to you. They have opened their third eye and they realize now what it is they want. But currently, somebody is in isolation. And they are in isolation because they are going within. They're trying to figure things out. Because they want to speak up and they want to let you know. Or you want to let them know that you are there for them or they are there for you. Okay, so keep that faith. You are still growing and forgive others for what they've done. Keep that passion going. Nobody's perfect. We're perfect the way we are, but nobody is perfect. There's only one perfect being in this entire universe. We know who that is. And this soulmate will be coming towards you soon, but they're in isolation now because they don't know how they're going to come forward to you. Okay. And this is somebody who cares about you, and they are going to speak their truth when they do come to you. Okay, so that was the end of today's uh, Pick a Pile reading, which is, is deception being planned on my behalf? There um, are several, you know, answers there for you that you understand it could be uh, something happening in your life. But the universe is asking you to keep the faith, believe that you are a special person because you are strong and you can outwit anybody trying to deceive you, 
And the universe also wants you to know to keep the faith, keep growing, forgive others, continue your passion. Your soulmate is coming. They're just trying to figure out a way to come to you because, you know, they might think that you are perfection. All right. So I'd like to thank you for coming today's Pick a Pile reading. And um, I am wishing nothing but the best for you guys. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share on these videos. Somebody might need this, okay? Somebody might need to know that they are powerful with, you know, beyond the, what they know. But my name is Mona. I'm wishing you all the best. And this is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot, and I will definitely see you next time.